Christmas, everyone. My name is Stephen Michael Hall, and I'm here to talk to you about Christmas and preparations for Christmas and what we go through every year as we shop and clean and cook and we prepare for the hell known as Christmas celebration. Oh, yeah. When you think we got it rough, you know who's got it rough? Santa Claus. Now Santa's always got to deal with a battalion of zombie elves always smiling and happy and perky and always wanting to be happy. And I'm like, that won't drive me insane. It's kind of like a bunch of happy children in a fun time sweatshop. He has to deal with psycho reindeer who just want to fly around all the time and have fun and prance and enjoy themselves. They're like a bunch of little Yorkies always wanting to play and get attention and have food. Oh, wait a minute, those are the dogs of my house. Oh yeah, at home. Mm -hmm. And all those wonderful holiday traditions. You know, like when you go outside and you cover your house with lights and it looks like Clark Griswold's house from Christmas Vacation. Yeah, you turn your house into a backup airport landing field. And then there's this mistletoe thing. You know, I got a theory about mistletoe. I should spread it all over the house, invite nobody over, put my wife on the naughty list, and spend the entire time kissing. I like where this is going. Then it comes time to get the Christmas tree. You know, it's time to bring the outside, inside, but it's not that easy of a process. If we could just go outside and bring any little old tree in there, that would be perfect. But there's a procedure. There's a special method that has to be followed. We have to drive all over town and look at all these different lots. And we have to go through each tree to make sure it's the right height, to make sure it's the right width, to make sure it's fluffy enough, to make sure the needles ain't too loose, to make sure it's got the right look, the right curve, and the arch. And usually, usually, it's the one in the back. Back of the pile. After you've gone through the other 20 and got sap all over your hands, that's the one you want. My advice to you people, start from the back and work your way forward. And then you bring this tree home and you put it in a stand and you feed it and you water it and you, you dress it up with nice little wraps and you put on ornaments like putting on earrings and decorative things. And you give it attention? It's almost like bringing home another child. You don't need any more children. What the heck do they get every year? We bring home another child in the house to take care of. And in the long run, it just becomes some fancy back scratcher for the dog as he circles around the tree, letting the branches scratch his back. You know, the ornaments are falling off, and everything going crazy and chaos, and you gotta clean up a mess. And the dog drinks the water, and the tree dies. And you feel guilty and you take it outside and give it a ceremony of leaving after Christmas. Goodbye, Mr. G. Goodbye, Mr. G. It's crazy. Oh, yes, and then there's shopping. Christmas shopping contains two of the things that men hate the most. Shopping at multiple stores with a wife while having to be nice to people. See, shopping is kind of like dental work. And Christmas shopping is the root canal of all shopping. It is just as painful trying to be nice and pretend you're having fun. This is why football season follows the holidays. This is where we become men again. This is we re-man up. We bring it back from the point of almost total feminization. <laughs> this is why women do the shopping the rest of the year. Because us guys, we would just bring home cookies, beer, pizza, and potato chips. And we would have like this big massive party. We'd all get fat and have ass and reflux, but it would be happy. But that's what we would bring home. That's why the women do the shopping during the year. You should do the shopping during Christmas so that we don't mess it up. Matter of fact, they should buy their own gifts. I think that's just smart. Buy your own gift, honey. Buy it, wrap it, put it under the tree, and say it's from me. I like this. This could be a new trend. Hmm. I write this.
this one now. And with that, I want to wish you all a great time with your friends and family. Because that's what this truly is all about. God bless you all. Merry Christmas. And to those of you that are politically correct, I want to wish you whatever doesn't offend you.